Hi guys, at this point we are ready to start with our ground level details. So we finished everything else, buildings are done, wall details are done, rooftop details are done. And now we're ready to start filling up our negative space at the ground level. We're going to add things like roads, freeway overpasses, sidewalks, trees, maybe some park areas, possibly some cars. So we're not gonna leave all that negative space blank. We are gonna be filling that in. So I added this shape in the center of my city. Uh, I want that to look like a little park area or possibly like a recreational area. So I kind of just replicated the shape that was already there and I outlined it a couple of times. I'm gonna draw now maybe a fountain here in the center. Maybe some benches. Of course, everything at the ground level is gonna be tiny because it's the furthest away from the viewer. So it's gonna be your tiny, tiny. You're gonna see the small little shapes. I'm gonna draw some trees possibly right here. So just some like organic fluffy little shapes. I'm gonna add more trees all around. Nice green area in the middle of our city. That'd be nice. Few more benches going this way. Few more trees. Now I'm going to connect some walkways and also some roads between our buildings. So when you start drawing your roads, remember what you don't wanna do is to just draw the roads around, like wrapping around the rooftops of the buildings, like the tops of the buildings, cause that's not realistic. You have to realize this is the whole top of the building. So the roads are gonna go around the base of the building and this is the base of the building right here. So the, the base of the building is the bottom of the building. So the roads can wrap around the base of the building. So I can have a road going behind there. That connects here. Maybe a little parking area right here. So draw a few little lines for cars. The trick to drawing the roads is to keep them pretty small and also keep them consistent. Like you don't want some roads to look really wide and then some other roads to look uh, thinner. You want the roads to look about the same width, about the same size all the way through. This road's gonna go this way. It's gonna wrap around this bottom. Remember, you're wrapping the roads around the base of your buildings, not the top of the building. So you're gonna try try to draw these light initially. That way if you make a mistake, you can very easily fix it. If you also are having a hard time keeping them straight and it's supposed to be a straight line, feel free to use a ruler. So I'm intending for this to look like it's the same road that goes from behind here that came out over here. So notice it's like not wrapping around the building. That's really important. I always have students that try to wrap the roads around the top of buildings and it just looks weird and unrealistic. So don't do that. Make sure if you're making roads curve around in between buildings, you're keeping it around the base of the buildings. Not the top. So oh, at this point, I think I'm gonna use a ruler. Some of my lines are starting to look a little wonky. So again, this is the base bottom of the building, right? So this one's gonna go all the way off to the edge of the paper. God, I'm gonna erase, or I'm actually gonna draw the intersection here so this road 
continues past that line, past this line. Okay, so then you figure out where that road is gonna go. Maybe it just goes behind here. So lots of intersecting lines. You can have curves, you can have um, straight lines, you can do a combination of both. You can have double lines for the road. So uh, maybe this is like a big freeway overpass and um, you have multiple lanes, which is usually the case. So you don't have to do single lines like this. Like maybe this right here is a freeway or something. So I wanna add multiple lanes there. Like that. Uh, and then I can add my lines in between and the details and all that later. Uh, like I said, anything that's normally seen in a city, like on the ground of a city, so trees, you can do parks, maybe you can do parking lots, roads, sidewalks, that kind of thing. But do everything with the same width. Make sure you go around the base of the buildings, not around the top of the buildings. Do not wrap. Like if I was gonna wrap a road around the K-shaped building, I would definitely uh, keep in mind that I don't want it to look like it just completely wraps around the whole letter. So I would make it go maybe behind right here. So I'll give you an example of that. So if I was doing a road, this is the base. So this is the bottom of that, that building. So I could have the road coming in this way, maybe going out that way but not around the top of the building. Does that make sense? So do that throughout. I'm gonna go ahead and type lap, time lapse the rest of the video. Make sure you do a neat job with all these um, details on the ground level. You don't wanna go too sloppy on these and then ruin your nice, beautiful, uh, neat, clean cityscape. So take your time with it, make it interesting, make it fun. Uh, I'm going to try to do a combination of all the different things that I just mentioned. And then at the end, I am going to go in and put in some of those lines in the middle of the road. So you will see me doing that. But that's pretty much how you complete this uh, cityscape.